Hi, I'd like to tell you about my Microsoft Certification Study Guide for Excel. It is different than all the other opportunities that are out there in that it includes multiple features in one offering. As you can see here, it includes highly detailed graphics with step-by-step -step notation and arrows. There are also detailed lists that go along with those graphics, helping people with different learning styles. In addition, at the end of each section, there are tasks where a person can actually do some hands-on practice for the certification study guide. The book also comes with several pages that can be cut out and used as flashcards with the answer on the back of each card. There's also an exam day study guide. Preparing a student for the certification involves many facets and so having just a last minute reference sheet to look at the day of the exam if you arrive at the testing center early, for example, you can just refresh your memory on some of the formulas. The book also comes with practice software. You install this on your computer and it's meant to simulate the real world practice exam that you would take at a CertiPort testing center. Students can work through this practice software and and it's live in Excel, so you have to have Excel installed on your computer, but then the software actually opens the required files and then gives you a grade at the end. You'll see more of that in a video later. And then there are 70 videos that come with the book. One video for each required outcome for the certification exam. The chapters of the book closely align with the outcomes of the certification exam. So if you go to the CertiPort website and look at the required outcomes, that's going to closely match the chapters that you see here. In fact, those are the same. So this book focuses very closely on the outcomes and not extra things that aren't needed, with the exception of the introduction chapter, which is an overview of the user interface, making sure that the students understand the correct terms and layout aspects of the user interface. The Microsoft Excel certification exam study guide comes with 70 videos that correspond to the various outcomes that the student will take on the certification exam. As you can see here, there's an icon next to each outcome indicating that there's a corresponding video showing the same steps outlined in the list and the corresponding graphic. Take a look at this video showing how to import a text file, which is one of the things that you need to know on the certification exam. To import data from TXT files, go to the Data tab, select Get Data, select From File, from Text slash CSV File. Select a text file, click Import, verify the delimiter is correct. You'll be able to tell by the preview below the data has sorted properly when the correct delimiter is selected. Verify data type detection. Click load. The table is now loaded into the current Excel file. The data can be sorted by the automatic built-in sorting drop-down lists. As you can see, the videos are short and to the point to help students really focus on the necessary steps required to do that particular outcome or to achieve that outcome. Next, we'll look at a similar video showing how to import a CSV file. Very similar to text, but another very distinct step required 
for a student to know for the certification exam. Import data from a CSV file. Get data from get data from text slash CSV file. Select a CSV file. Click import. Verify the delimiter and the data type detection. Click load. An exciting aspect of the STC publication study guide on the Microsoft Excel certification exam is the custom practice exam software that comes with the book. Students are able to download this software and install it on their personal computers. And as long as they have Microsoft Excel installed on that computer, they can simulate the real world exam that they would experience at the CertiPort Test Center. It's not the exact same test, of course, but most of the functionality is very similar in how they are delivered or given five projects with a certain number of tasks per project. They're able to mark tasks as complete or for review, move on to the next project, and at the end they can review their questions and answers, and then they can also hit submit and get a grade. They're given a breakdown of which categories they got questions wrong in so that they know which chapters to go back and review in the book. So take a look at this video that I created uh, that is an overview of the practice exam software. SDC Publications Exam Preparation Guide for Microsoft Office Excel Associate for version 365 and 2019 comes with a practice exam. Let's take a look at that practice exam and see how it can help you prepare for the test. With the SDC Excel practice exam installed on your computer, double click it to open Excel and the practice exam software. Here we have five tasks for the first of six projects. We also have a countdown timer as it is a timed test, just like the real exam. The first question tells us to switch to worksheet one called week one and change the text for row one to style heading two. If we're unsure of our answer, we can mark it for review, or if we're sure, we can mark it as complete. We can get help by clicking on task help, and then we can switch between tasks by clicking next task, previous task, or simply clicking on the tabs. At any time during the practice exam, we can click exam summary and get an overview of all the questions and the ones we've marked as review or complete. We can click on one to jump back to a question if we have time remaining. To move on to the next project, click submit project. Now we're on project two of six. If we make changes to a project, including marking as review or complete, and we decide we want to start this project over, simply click Restart Project. For that one project, number two of six, everything's reset so we can start over. There's also a menu for the practice exam. We can undock the practice exam software and move it independent of the Excel screen or we can click to dock it and reposition it to its original state. We also have access to the exam summary, as we've already seen. And then when we're finished with the exam, we can click Finish Exam. This will warn you that you can't go back. This will grade the exam and present the results. The results may be printed. You see the date the exam was taken and the total score and whether you passed or failed. For questions that you got wrong, you can go back and study the book 
Look at the flashcards or the over 70 videos that come with the SDC practice exam textbook. As you can see, the entire collection of features that come with this book is much more than just a book with the flashcards and the videos and the practice exam software and all the various aspects of this book that facilitate different learning styles make this a really great book for most situations.